Think about the last time you felt incredibly stressed. That might be a long time ago, not so long ago, or it may even be a current situation for you. How did you know you were stressed? What does it feel like for you? And what do you notice in yourself to realize that you're experiencing stress? Hi, I'm Courtney Cuthbertson, and I'm an extension specialist with University of Illinois. In today's moment for mental health, we are going to talk about different signs of stress. Everyone experiences stress at some point in their lives. Stress on its own is not necessarily a mental health issue. Some amounts of stress can be good because that can motivate us to do things. However, when stress overwhelms us or when it becomes chronic, it might lead to worsening mental or physical health. People experience stress in different ways. What's stressful to one person might not be stressful to someone else. When we experience stress, it might come up in ways that we don't realize until things become very difficult or very challenging for us. Being attuned to what stress may look like can help us to manage it before it becomes overwhelming. So as I mentioned, stress can look like a lot of different things. The signs and symptoms could be physical. That might include things like headaches, general aches and pains, or getting sick more often. Or signs of stress might be things that are more cognitive, meaning affecting the way that we think. Some examples of cognitive signs of stress include difficulty concentrating, racing thoughts, or having a pessimistic outlook. Stress may show up behaviorally, meaning that it might impact the things that we do or that we don't do. Some examples are sleeping too much or too little, eating too much or too little, increased alcohol or drug use, and avoiding responsibilities. We might also experience emotional signs or symptoms of stress, meaning the things that we feel, like feeling anxious, worried, depressed, or maybe even feeling unmotivated. In stressful times, our bodies react with fight or flight mode, and in doing so, release cortisol, which regulates various body functions. Over long periods of experiencing stress, the physical responses can be harmful. For example, Chronic stress is a risk factor for high blood pressure, heart disease, gastrointestinal disorders, diabetes, and depression, among others. So what's effective in managing stress for one person might be different for another. The first step is recognizing when stress is coming up for you, and then being able to figure out what you might need to deal with that stress. So think about it some more. What do signs of stress look like for you? Think about the various signs of stress that I've mentioned today and think about what you might do to manage stress the next time you notice signs. One thing that might help is engaging with people in your social network. I hope you join us next time for another Moment for Mental Health.